Namo Himalaya to everyone. Today we have another beautiful soul with us, Latika Ji, who's not only the certified teacher, uh, advanced level certified teacher with Akshar Yoga, but also have undergone certain uh, mind learning program. Plus she's also undergoing. So let's know about her transformation. Latika Ji, Namo Himalaya to you Ji. Namo Himalaya Zaila Ji. Ji, before we start, Latika Ji, it, was, it would be so good if we can have a brief introduction from you, Ji. Ji, um, I'm Latika and I belong to a small hill station in North India from Nenital. So yeah, but I'm a mother of seven-year-old and uh, my husband belonged to the armed forces. And uh, I'm presently working with the environment of the town. I belong, you know, I'm associated with an NGO. So my love for the town and the environment made me switch over to, you know, work for this town. But basically, I'm a teacher. <laughs> so right now, uh, I'm working with a small uh, project that is being funded by uh, Department of Science and Technology. So that's it. And um, yeah. <laughs> that's very really impressive, Latika ji. <laughs> I must say. So moving ahead, Latika ji, I would love to know that how did you start your journey with Akshar Yoga? <laughs> well, I generally say when I just connect the dots, you know, backwards, uh, it's like, you know, I figured it out that in 2014, I had gone to Bangalore. And I say the connection was set then, though um, actually the training started in uh, the lockdown period. So 2014, my husband got posted there and... Um, and I uh, joined him and uh, um, my daughter was just like one year old and I had really put on a lot of weight and, you know, uh, during the pregnancy, I was throughout on the bed. So, you know, my body had really gone weak. So I knew that, you know, going, moving from a small town to a big town and I know Bangalore had so many places to practice yoga and all that because we don't have this first lit in this town. So I was looking for places, you know. And I don't, I remember either I saw a big hoarding of Grandmaster or it was on the newspaper. And I was hooked by that, you know, that three papers of Grandmaster. I, I keep telling everyone. And, um, but I don't remember Akshar Yoga as a name. I just remember that face. And somehow um, I didn't join. Now I say that, you know, I was not ready for the master. <laughs> so I couldn't join. And I joined somewhere nearby and then I came back and then, you know, after that, you know, um, 2019, certain things happening, then you, you know, you're seeking something, certain low period happens in your life, and then you want something different. So I came across a person called, you know, through YouTube, Eric Ho, now Master Shri Akashna. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, his talks were like, you know, just hooked on. And I came to know that he's coming to Delhi and I went uh, for his, um, you know, event. The grandmaster had come and believe me, I didn't recognize grandmaster. <laughs> Again, I was not ready. <laughs> so it so happened that, you know, after that, uh, uh, I was pra started practicing yoga with uh, Master Shri Akashna only. And uh, over a period of time, I was like preparing myself. And then now I realized that with all the people I was there, I was, uh, you know, uh, training with were all related to grandmaster. <laughs> and in one of the calls, I happened to, uh, while talking to Rebecca Ji, it just clicked me that 2014, that picture was grandmaster. <laughs> and it's like amazing. Into 2020, again, I went to SPL uh, for another event of um, uh, Master Shri Akashna. And there Master Shri Akashna told me that um, you should go to the Himalayas. And then I was like, okay. Uh, I should and then I signed up and I'm glad that uh, uh, you know uh, the mountains didn't happen the the retreat didn't happen because I would have gone just like a tourist because I know now with all the preparation that you're going through that what you know mountains are there you know my Himalayas are for so yeah and uh, then uh, and again you know there were people who had to travel and everybody was uh, traveling to India they were, they were like preparing um, for uh, this uh, you know, for the mountains, and they were uh, preparing for training with Grandmaster. And again, I asked a question. I was like, uh, is it possible to, you know, uh, train with Grandmaster? Because I know from here, I cannot move to Bangalore, leaving my child, a lot of other issues. And as a blessing, I think the universe answered and lockdown happened. <laughs> and after four days, <laughs> Grandmaster was live. I was like, what more could I have I asked? And that day I said that, yes, uh, my master appeared. You know, the disciple is ready and the master appeared. 
So since then, I'll say then my actual training started. And uh, it's like been nonstop, I would say, uh, you know, from the basic courses, doing advanced, and then the foundation, beginners, Gurukul. <laughs> this journey is like, it'll continue, I guess. It's very mesmerizing, though. And <laughs> Touchy though, as in like uh, you, as where you spoke about that you were not prepared for it for the master, and it took about five to six years for you to do that. Absolutely, and you are today. I realized now. I remember in first. Um, uh, then I don't know what master and because I'm always a spiritual person and. Uh, I can understand a lot of things, but you know, when then I remember Grandmaster saying, choose your master wisely. I, I, I didn't understand. I said, what does that mean? <laughs> I didn't know I was going the same path. And now it said that, you know, when the uh, disciple is ready, the master appears. I, I guess it's the same for me. <laughs> very well, very well. I agree with you completely on that. <laughs> See, um, since you have been the part of the open courses and certain courses which are indulged with the investment as well. So I would love to know that how all these courses and overview that has polished you or probably helped you or probably transformed you to uh, give you a progress or probably give you a push to move ahead in journey. Yes, Elaji, actually, um, I used to do yoga, but it was like, you know, what like everybody does, you know, a bit of flexibility, you want to be, you know, just the physical dynamics. And I had I knew that, you know, that when they say it's yoga, yoga, that, you know, knowing and realizing is a two different thing. I knew it, but realization came after I joined yoga, uh, sorry, Akshar Yoga. So, you know, how this yoga just gets into you and then you get aligned, this is what, uh, you know, I learned. Initially, um, as I told you, it was just that physical thing. And then when you know how this will affect your, uh, you know, mind, body and soul, um, because I see a lot of transformation inside me. And this is what is visible also. And this is what I come to know from people also. Uh, much more calmer. And I'm back to that weight, which I was like 20 years ago. So <laughs> what more again? And then again, there's a thing, you know, your soul is asking for something. True. This is what you get in Akshar Yoga, I guess. <laughs> so you mean to say that uh, for you, it was like, uh, that uh, 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 for you, it was like more of like, you were chasing to be into a shape, but from there, your trans uh, transformation started. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you. So uh, Latifaji, I would also love to know that you are indulged into so many mind trainings as of now. You have been uh, working on yourself and you're going more closer to know about uh, the universe and uh, other stuff around. So I would love to know that how is it really impacting your uh, lifestyle? Like uh, what results you're gaining? First of all, there's a, there's a piece, I would say. You know, the, the restlessness, because why, how I started, it was, there was a lot of restlessness inside me. And I remember the first day, uh, the first event that I went, um, uh, you know, uh, with, um, you know, Master Shri Krishna's event, the first event. Believe me, I was in chaos. I didn't know what was happening. And uh, people were asking questions. I, I was like, I'm in a different world. What's happening? You know, and. I could, the last moment I, I got a chance to speak to Master Shakashna, I just said, I'm in chaos. You know what's there? He said, um, alignment will come after chaos. And this is what I'm experiencing. So in a line, he explained everything. And this is what I see now. And with Grandmaster, I have no words. I really do not know what to say, you know, because uh, he, he will just transform you. So... Yeah, a lot of things. Physical is a different thing. And that mental, that, uh, you know, that inner peace, a lot of things. Because I am a person, you know, uh, I have had a lot of, had lot of health issues before. Okay. And uh, I, I was suffering with uh, thyroid too. I know more take thyroid pills. And uh, my weight was, I told you, with my, um, I was totally on bed rest throughout my pregnancy. And my back was really, it was in a bad shape. And uh, so I'm getting back my strength, uh, my body weight, I, my, I've uh, come down. And, uh, and I was one person who would be popping in pills like anything, you know. 
that has yeah that has stopped <laughs> with something or the other migraine has come down like anything so it's so a lot of benefits these benefits are there and apart from there you know what people these days are looking for is a mental peace it is there very wonderful to know yeah. that you have been it has really been very 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 fruitful to you that's very wonderful yeah now uh, latika ji moving ahead generally when we are born you know we don't have any mind conditioning right absolutely and uh, but as we grow there are certain norms we get into such mind conditioning in life so i would love to know that while you have been undergoing such courses like our uh, trinity you have been part of trinity and now you are a part of uh, shakti mandal as well so how they are really benefiting you in your day to day life to come over it or when we even talk about the manifestation i would say rather that manifestation is just a word what we are learning in these courses so i would love to know from your side see as i like as i told you that you know uh, first of all the routine that you have i know i have to get up and you know uh, do the rituals that we do generally chanting and and most of the time in i'm in that mode you know even if i'm going outside and i'm looking at the sky and i'm like oh my gosh never it's, it's like you know it's 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 a different awareness what to tell you it's totally different now you see world in a very different manner and one more realization i would say like you know i said i work for the environment i was one of the person who would get really you know uh, tensed about you know because as does i when you are uh, when you see people littering and this is what i you know my work is on awareness telling people not to do this and you know do the campaigns and all and i used to really uh, get uh, disturbed when i would see people doing such a thing and i belong to a very beautiful town it's a small place people i know people know each other so well and I, even after that uh, I, i had i used to really think so much and get stressed and i would really fall sick and then i realized yeah <laughs> it was so bad and with this mind training i got a total new awareness you know with what grandmaster taught us i was like my god this is how i have to so it's how do you work in a detached mode that was the biggest learning for me and now i know that i have to do my duty but my purpose is something else so this is the biggest thing i would say so rather like it's kind of a final clincher of life finding the purpose yeah 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 i know i have what i have to go for now because initially i think my purpose is you know maybe working for the environment or maybe this but now i know what is that higher purpose you looking for <laughs> so this is it that's amazingly beautiful i must say so alatika ji i just uh, you just shared few minutes i mean i rather say few seconds ago that uh, now you see uh, everything around you with a very different perception like you just said that the chanting of mantras or maybe certain protocol or process which you uh, follow so with this beautiful techniques by implementing into your life so how it is really helping you to plan or to design the structure of your life uh, consciously oh um, what to say see um as i told you that you know whatever i'll be doing right now is um you know my day begins as i told you like with all these rituals not so i know my basically this is what is giving me the strength you know so i get the strength from all these the, the practices that i do and then i know what i have to do in this world in this planet so um this energy is being transferred to this but on a, a deeper level i know where i have to go so i know i'll be working for that purpose only so and grandmaster is there to guide us for all that so on a conscious level do you see any change in your existence of course a lot of changes a lot of changes um that's what i was saying that initially i would get hyper about things and uh, you know my work and all now it's like when grandma said that's a pause you need to give that pause so this is the pause that i'm learning that's very important in life yeah and that's so very wonderful that you spoke about the pause that's very mandatory i agree with you completely that the practice of pause is very very required so uh, latika ji when we are into uh, the process of learning something and uh, you know uh, 
when we are into it and we come across so many things around us and we have one takeaway moment and we realize yes this was the only moment for me probably i was chasing for it i never knew but yes i can so well relate to it or probably correlate to it so what was that your takeaway moment oh there were so many i really do not know what to say takeaway moment <laughs> because uh, as i told you how this uh, this yoga thing was totally you know it was a totally spiritual thing for me ji you know i i never uh, initially the yoga was for i would say um the you know reducing weight or whatever just the physical dynamics and then when i realized that i was looking for something deeper and i remember in one of the zoom calls when the first day um uh that was the first zoom call i guess with grandmaster when he has just started mm -hmm. and uh, there was a last question and i got that question because i don't know i that was the time i was like my god you know talking to grandmaster and, and i was like i was looking for something like this i know where were you types you know <laughs> and it's so many people you know watching me and i'm like crying like anything <laughs> so uh, yeah and since then he's been guiding me there have been a lot of uh, takeaways i really do not know a lot of uh, aha moments because i've been doing so many trainings you know and uh, i would say especially and while doing yoga also you know initially it was uh, see what i used to do before it was few surya namaskar i would do and some asanas mm -hmm. now it's like you know uh, in the trainings he would grandmaster would make you do things and all of a sudden you know it will happen so it is like it's it's totally different i would i cannot imagine me in 40s i cannot imagine me doing you know 20 years ago i would never imagine myself doing all these asanas right now what more <laughs> for me it was like how can these people do all this and now people tell me i said is it <laughs> because now i see something else <laughs> so yeah to say that it is a complete alignment of body mind and absolutely absolutely, absolutely. all right latika ji i would also love to know your transformation part probably the person you were and now you have become the changes which you have seen in you or maybe the people around you <laughs> uh, yeah definitely what uh, i see is that when you say uh, that when you change from within actually the, the change has to be from within and when it's from within it is seen outside mm -hmm. and you know uh, this is what i have seen because initially um, you know i have i was a social person i would like to go outside have friends and all and all of a sudden something happened that you know that socializing all it, it it happened naturally that i started cutting off with people i no more you know just going around and you know i would probably probably sit by the lake and you know just have a nice time with myself and um, and there has been a lot of you know consciousness in everything you know maybe what i'm wearing or maybe you know uh, why am i keeping things like this or you know every small thing so it is more like a conscious living now so a lot of things lot of things what to say and this even people and that's what i am blessed with friends uh, who do not interfere now they know that you know even if it's a birthday but they said they won't bother me <laughs> because they know i said please i i i, I don't know I, if i I'll, i'll wish you but uh, they will not uh, like you know some people really force you know so i'm blessed that way even my family and all i don't travel much you know initially i used to just go for two three days and all but now with the training also i think i should be with myself so it has been a lot of changes lot of changes yeah so it means you feel very self sufficient yeah yeah you feel uh, yeah now it's not initially you know it was like more of running around maybe you know when you don't have answers you know now it's like you being with yourself you like to be with yourself and you know even if you are like you know i'm alone i'm like i'm so happy even if i'm alone <laughs> it's like that yeah that's very really amazing to know that let in today's era when where everyone is seeking out for something running here and there around us for the answers or probably we are trying to find ourselves especially yeah. in the time of pandemic and uh, you have been planning it so consciously so wisely on contrary you're feeling self sufficient like you feel with yourself that you feel very much complete with yourself 
yeah because and now i feel that there's so much to do with yourself you know initially we used to just go out and it was like you know now i is like what kind of life was i living till now because you know when you're not aware of things it was just that's to say i'm not, now your way of seeing things have changed awareness change you see those people and now you say you know you know what's happening <laughs> where you are <laughs> so it's like that as you mentioned that you have a beautiful daughter <laughs> so i have heard it from my mother all the time that motherhood is not easy so do you see a change in yourself in this context as well like do you see any transformation in the way of your motherhood um so um, what i would say see um i like i am a teacher and i'm a mother so i have experimented with kids earlier also um like you know i um, it's it's been like you know i've taught uh, children from kindergarten to a college level it's it's just happened that way yeah. and i what i enjoyed most was the kindergarten oh yeah they are such spirits and because of that uh, when my daughter was born i did a montessori course in bangalore only because i knew that you know what montessori did to children and so that's because of my daughter i did that so i've been experimenting with her right mm-hmm. and i've seen a lot of things so um with now initially um, yes i would say i was a bit strict and you know with a, a very small thing i would like you know <laughs> that you know everybody knows that she was like that it has mellowed down definitely and plus i see a change like now i see uh, what i feel is like you know i'm preparing her um, what do you say subconsciously for this journey because um, i see her you know when she sees me doing uh, asanas so these days she's trying crow pose so <laughs> she's like come 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 just see <laughs> and we have a nice tree here we just practice under the tree so the morning whenever the sun comes she said like, the sun has come come let's get a mat and she's trying her asana and saying just see this so i i don't force her and she seen me doing surya namaskar one day she performed in front of someone with all the asana though it was not perfect but she knew the sequence so that way yeah i see her. and then she uh, somewhere she's listening to grandmaster all the time you know and at times i feel that you know she's getting all the <laughs> inputs from grandmaster so a lot of changes that way so um, through me you know grandmaster is <laughs> working that way as well also <laughs> so entire family is being taken care <laughs> yeah 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 so yeah uh, this is way um, i have uh, you know and i've seen a lot of things and you know, i have introduced uh, her to music also and i've seen how she's picking up harmonium and she's singing bhajans and uh, i visualize her with grandmaster in the mountain <laughs> some day so we do it's the transformation of your family as well absolutely a uh, family i would not say everybody but at least me and my daughter <laughs> because um when you change your environment it becomes a bit different for, uh, difficult for your immediate environment to adapt to this change also this is i'm seeing in my immediate environment so for some it is a bit uh, you know difficult to you know and then like uncomfortable to see this change probably they'll take time to you know know what's happening with me <laughs> so very beautiful rather i would say that it's not only you that even it's with your family it, uh, with your daughter as you shared those who are supposed to be the future of this world so absolutely wonderful so latika ji one message which you would love to share with others who, those who are the spirits those who are looking forward for a happy and powerful journey of the shift in their life the shift which you have mentioned you have experienced definitely from that the experience of that would if you would love to share well i would just say that um, if you really want to know i will say knowing again knowing and realizing if you really want to realize what is yoga hai, then please do uh, <laughs> come under grand master because i have learned yoga in you know with different people but what you will come to learn here it will be a life transforming uh, you know experience for you for whoever is listening to me because uh, i'll say this is from the horse's mouth i have seen all that and um, the way you'll prepare yourself you'll see your life just going in a different direction mm-hmm. and probably uh, you know one would see that there's, there's a purpose and then you'll realize that yes why i am a human being right now the purpose of being a human 
yeah definitely it's it, it's a much deeper learning than you know just being everybody's doing yoga these days you know everybody's like you know oh yeah i'm into yoga they're doing poses and all that but what is there deep within you know that and you'll have your uh, you know a lot of my queries have been answered and again i feel there's so much to learn so if you have that you know that hunger to learn that you know to seek something you know that is again divine then nothing like it i would say come under grandmaster <laughs> so latika ji it was so good to know your part of transformation and especially where you shared that about your daughter i feel very much touched that <laughs> i remember my childhood i was never like this i was brought up with mind conditioning so i'm so i i must say that she's very lucky that uh, she'll not be brought up now that way with those mind yeah conditions. with her i am trying to improve myself also you know because uh, this is what uh, grandma teaches like you know that everybody is there to teach you something so uh, if i say if she says you know you won't believe at times when i am like i have a grumpy face or she say smile please so you know she reminds me <laughs> that yes i need to smile so I, yes i need to learn such certain things from her also so your environment is also teaching you it's very wonderful where you spoke about that you see a change in your emotion of gratitude and how do you implement it yeah right and you have a complete emotion of self sufficient which everyone really requires it we want it but we are in a very chaotic situation we are trying to seek it out but you have found it within you somewhere so it is so beautiful to know that you are part of transformation and i know that you are already a part of shakti mandal and we are learning a lot though so i really wish that everything turns out to be very fruitful to you and you grow very high and uh, your all the purposes uh, which you are seeking forward should be fed soon and uh, may you grow very very high and wish you very great energies and uh, many congratulations to you that uh, you are one advanced level certified teacher also of yaksha yoga <laughs> thank you thank you like grandmaster says you have a weapon in your hand so now i'm contemplating about this weapon <laughs> yes i remember uh, this reminds me of the last session <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so very well very well framed agreed that now we also know that how to protect ourselves and uh, these techniques which are very beautiful helping us though indeed thank you yeah. for reminding me that <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you for your time as well Thank, thank you so you. much thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity thank you very welcome ji we, uh, we were so happy to have you on this platform today thank you so much for everything keep rising and growing wish you very very great energies many prayers for you namo himalaya thank you so much namo himal